So this is so, so important. You do not want to get shut down just because you forgot to cross your I's and dot your T's. Welcome back, Canine Pioneers. Today, we're diving into the world of dog training business and uncovering the 15 most common obstacles that may be holding you back from becoming a successful canine pioneer. Stay tuned until the end because we have some game-changing solutions for each and every one of these roadblocks. Obstacle number one is a lack of experience. Embrace continuous learning. I don't know why so many trainers give up. Gain experience by volunteering at shelters, assisting professional trainers, and attending workshops and online courses. Remember, the more you learn, the more valuable you become. There's so much to learn. Continue learning every single day. Obstacle number two is limited resources. Get creative. Leverage social media platforms to showcase your skills. Build a strong online presence and connect with potential clients. Those are free. Utilize low-cost marketing strategies like word of mouth, referrals, and affiliate programs. And using local community events, they're $20 to get into? Limited resources is no longer an excuse in this day and age where so many things are free and open to the public. All you have to do is look for them. Obstacle number three is building trust with clients. You need to establish yourself as a trustworthy expert. And you can do that by providing free, valuable content, such as training tips and advice, blog posts, videos, or even just social media. You want to offer a free initial consultation so that you can show your potential clients your dedication and expertise. And they go, oh my goodness, how did I just get this half hour consultation for free? I should be paying thousands of dollars. And then they work with you. Obstacle number four is finding your target market. Conduct thorough market research and identify your ideal client. Who do you want to work with? You need to define your niche, whether it's training specific breeds, solving behavioral issues, even really, really tiny specific ones, or focusing on puppy training. Tailor your marketing efforts to reach and attract your target audience specifically and effectively. Obstacle number five, setting competitive pricing. Research the local trainers and market in your area, but don't get too hung up on that. There's dog trainers all over the world who charge way more than you could possibly imagine. Consider offering different types of packages to cater to various budgets and client needs, focusing on delivering exceptional value, and then pricing doesn't matter. People will pay any amount of money if it solves their big problem. Obstacle number six, balancing training and business management. You need to streamline your business operations by implementing some type of system or process. Too many dog trainers love the dog training aspect and just kind of ignore the business part. Invest some time in learning the tools and software to help you, like client management, scheduling, and billing. You could also delegate these administrative tasks to someone else so you can free up your time. If you don't have somebody else, dedicate it to a different version of yourself. Sometimes that helps me get things done. Obstacle number seven, handling difficult clients. You need to develop strong communication skills to effectively manage difficult clients. Practice active listening, empathy, and patience. Set clear expectations early on in your business relationship with this client, establish boundaries, and address concerns right away. Remember, client satisfaction is crucial for your reputation, so guard it at all costs. Obstacle number eight, competition with established trainers. You need to differentiate yourself by offering a unique selling proposition. Focus on a specialized training approach, a signature training system, which you can learn more about at the link below, a personalized attention or innovative training methods. Highlight your success stories and testimonials to showcase your expertise. Obstacle number nine, building a supportive network. Joining professional dog training associations and attending industry conferences to network with fellow trainers is a great way to collaborate. You want to work with local pet businesses, such as groomers and veterinarians, and cross-promote each other's services. Engage with online communities and forums, as well as your local area, and work together in order to give your clients a full service. Not just training, but training and grooming and vet care. Obstacle number 10, marketing and branding challenges. Invest time into building a strong brand identity. Develop a visually appealing logo, website, and social media presence. When someone sees your company, they should immediately recognize it, like Coca-Cola, Apple, and McDonald's. Consistently provide valuable content, engage with your audience, and showcase your expertise to build brand recognition. Once they see you, they should know exactly who you are. Number 11. 
Educate yourself on basic accounting principles or consider hiring a bookkeeper. Keep track of your income, expenses, and taxes. You need to set financial goals, create a budget, and regularly review your financial performance. You are, in fact, running a business. And businesses fail because they don't make enough money fast enough at quantities great enough to stay in business. Obstacle number 12. Scaling and expanding your business. Now, this is not for everybody. Some people just want to have a nice small business, and that's fine. But as your business grows, consider hiring and training additional dog trainers or assistants. Develop standardized training protocols to maintain consistent service quality. Another great use for a signature training system. Explore opportunities to expand your services, such as group classes or specialized workshops. Obstacle number 13, managing time effectively. Prioritize tasks and create a very tight schedule that balances training, administrative work, and some personal time. As an entrepreneur, it's easy to work 24-7 and have free time 24-7 whenever you can squeeze it in. Delegate non-essential tasks wherever possible, whether it's automated on a computer like an AI model or having a physical person do it. Utilize productivity tools such as time tracking apps or project management software. Stay organized. Obstacle number 14, we're almost at the end. You need to consult with a business attorney and obtain the necessary permits and license. Consider getting liability insurance to protect yourself and your clients and follow ethical guidelines to stay up to date with local regulations. This is so, so important. You do not want to get shut down just because you forgot to cross your I's and dot your T's. Cross your T's and dot your I's. Obstacle 15, staying motivated and focused. This is my favorite to talk about, and I constantly drill into my brain that I'm excited, I'm motivated, I'm focused. Surround yourself with a supportive community of fellow trainers all trying to reach the same goal. You need to attend seminars and workshops to stay inspired and learn from industry leaders. Set short-term and long-term goals, celebrate milestones, and remind yourself of the passion for dogs that you have and everybody that you've helped. My favorite thing every morning is reading the testimonials, referrals, and reviews that I've gotten. I love hearing the success stories that I've had from my clients, and it drives me to move forward and continue working, even when I'm tired. If you found these solutions valuable, make sure to subscribe to our channel and hit the notification bell so you never miss another video. For more in-depth information on starting and growing your dog training business, visit caninepioneers.com. Don't forget to check out our previous video right here. Thanks for watching, keep training, keep learning, keep being successful, and I'll see you in the next one.